I've been uh, on YouTube for most of lockdown now. I wasn't really on it before, uh, but I've been producing lots of videos and hopefully you'll have seen many of them. And it's, there's always that hope that one of those videos will go viral, that suddenly I will be known to millions of people because of something I've said or something I've done. It's probably not gonna happen, but the reality is it's really easy to be famous. All you need to do is do something really, really bad or stupid. You know, in recent times, our media has been full of people doing really, really bad or stupid things. Corrupt cops, inept politicians, violent looters. It is so easy to just fill our screens and our newspapers with bad people. But there's a phrase, an old phrase, that talks of the someone being the salt of the earth. And what it means to be salt of the earth is to be someone who is very good and honest, someone who represents the best of society. But this phrase, salt of the earth, is actually from the Bible. It's from some words of Jesus found in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13. I'll read it to you now. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. See, these words were spoken by Jesus to a load of crowds that had gathered to find out what was this Jesus all about. And Jesus presents in something known as the Sermon on the Mount, his manifesto, the things that he stood for, and also what he required of those who were about to follow him. And he says to those people, look, if you want to be a follower of me, you need to be the salt of the earth. Now, I remember uh, once... Uh, making some bread as a gift for someone and I thought I don't need a whole loaf I'll just half the ingredients and I uh, put it, made it wrapped it up nicely took it to them they took one bite of it and were just spat it out because I'd halved everything except for the salt so you cannot miss salt salt is all pervasive salt enhances flavor salt makes really mediocre dishes taste better but you cannot miss salts. On the flip side, if you try and make bread without salt, it's really pretty disgusting and you just want to throw it away. And when Jesus was talking about those people who had lost their saltiness, he was referring to those religious leaders, those people in authority who should have stood for goodness and honesty, who should have represented the best of society and in fact were corrupt and violent and inept. And Jesus said, if you want to be a follower of me, you, you can't be like that. You need to be salty. You need to be the salt of the earth. You need to be honest and good. But you need to be pervasive. You need to go against the flow. You need to stand out in the crowd. You need to stand up for justice and peace. And all that is good. So much so that people look at you and your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. See, that's what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ. You see, Gandhi said, I like you, Christ, but I don't like your Christians because your Christians are not much like Christ. That is a massive indictment on us as the church of Jesus Christ. And in this time of lockdown, when our churches are shut and the followers of Jesus are scattered into their homes, and their communities. My question for you, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, is are you the salt of the earth? You need to represent the best and the noblest that society can offer because that's who Jesus was. And you are likewise, as a follower of Jesus, called to be like Jesus. You are called to be salt of the earth. Are you infectious? I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean that in a good way. Are you an influencer? Are you a role model? Are your good works, your good deeds, your honesty, the fact that you are salt of the earth, bringing about positive change 
in your family and in your friendship groups and in your community? Are people wanting to be like you? And are they praising their Father in heaven because of what you have done? So are you salty? Thank you.